What's in a name? Back in the old days, it was just a string of words to put to a face. What's in a name? Nowadays, it is a series of strings of data and information that can be linked back to you. I happen to have a really uncommon name. I used to think it was cool because it set me aside from everyone else. Never mind the fact that it's been regularly misspelled or mispronounced throughout my life so far. I like my name. I wouldn't have it any other way. But that was before the internet. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the internet. I tend to use it on a more than regular basis, but that's fine. However, in any healthy relationship with commodity, you need to accept reality. The reality being that having a presence on the internet is like being at home late at night, the lamps on and the curtains open. You can't see out, but people can see in. That's a really uneasy feeling to have. When I first started using websites like fanfiction.net and YouTube, I made sure to use aliases and to never show my face so that I cannot be easily tracked. But one way or another, my name and face will make its way onto the internet. If not through me, then through somebody else. So, I decide to Google myself. When I opt for an image search, I find the picture from my online carbon made portfolio. That is the only photo that shows up. What follows are a slew of pictures from Facebook pages I've liked, bits from sites.jme.edu I must have visited at some point, and what looks like every BuzzFeed quiz I've ever taken while procrastinating. Still, I put my name in a generic Google search to see what would come up. My name shows up in my high school newspaper's website, as well as my middle school's directory. This narrows down my location drastically. I find YouTube footage of me singing and playing guitar at a cafe in Silver Spring. I also find a Reddit post made by a friend linking to a Doctor Who parody I posted on YouTube. Although I posted it under an alias, my friend posted it with my real name in the title. Well, I guess she's blown my cover. Unfortunately, my paranoia isn't irrational. Several prominent internet figures I admire, including actress and geek and sundry vlogger Felicia Day and feminist frequency vlogger Nia Sarkeesian have had their personal information leaked to the public by people who mean them harm. Female vloggers are at a higher risk of being doxxed. Doxing, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, is defined as the searching for and publishing of private or identifying information about a particular individual on the internet, typically with malicious intent. I believe that the internet should be a safe and welcoming place for all voices to be heard. It should be an escape from the chaos of the real world. Unfortunately, the internet can be just as nasty and chaotic as the real world. While internet safety and privacy are becoming luxuries that are rarely enjoyed, there are some things you can do to protect yourself online. Number one, do not give personal information on your social media pages. Number two, do not give away your location. Number three, do not post things you wouldn't want your boss or your uptight aunt to see. Number four, avoid using or installing apps that want to use your phone's GPS, camera, or other components. Number five, Google yourself on a regular basis to see what comes up. Now, you may be wondering, what's the point of all this? Why bother to shield yourself if your information is going to find its way online anyways? Because knowledge is power. Because it is important to know what other people can find out about you with the click of a button. Because you need to know what they know. What's in a name? Apparently, it's everything you can find at the click of a button.